the Texas Capitol Building. In 1881, eight architects submitted 11 designs for a national competition in hopes of their design being chosen to be the new Texas Capitol Building. Elijah E. Myers, architect of the Michigan and Colorado Capitol Buildings, was selected as the winner. The construction of the Capitol was paid for in an unusual way. What I think is one of the most interesting facts about the historic capital is that this building was built with no money. Texas um, was short of funds at that time. They traded three million acres of land in the Texas Panhandle to a Chicago corporation called the Capital Syndicate. So that's how this building got built with land, not money. Legislative sessions occur for 140 days every odd numbered year, beginning the second Tuesday in January. During session, 31 senators meet here, the Senate Chamber. Located in the front of the room is the Lieutenant Governor's original walnut desk. While anchoring the west side of the room are two large paintings by noted early Texas artist Henry Arthur McArdle. The Senate worked directly with the House of Representatives during legislative sessions to enact Texas state laws. This chamber is the largest room in the building, which seats 150 members. The exterior of the Capitol was to be native limestone, but the local rock contains iron, which causes discoloration when exposed to air. The solution? Sunset Red Granite, which was donated by landowners near present-day Marble Falls, Texas. Situated at the top of the dome stands... It is the Goddess of Liberty. She measures at 16 feet tall, and the inspiration for her design is a little more familiar than you may think. Possible inspiration was the Statue of Liberty, the, um, the Freedom Statue that's atop uh, the United States Capitol, and also the um, Athena Statue in Ancient Greece. When construction was completed in 1888, the Texas Capitol Building measured 310 feet in height, taller than even the National Capitol Building, and is the largest state capitol in gross square feet. A fun fact is this exact location is the only place on the grounds where you can see the lowest and the highest point of the building at the same time. However, don't worry about losing sight of the dome because many views from around the area are protected by state law from being obstructed. You can find out more about the Capitol grounds, public tour information, as well as historic photos, all on the State Preservation Board website. <laughs>